Attention! I have an announcement. As you go about your day, I would like you to be aware of the fact that I slept with Lisa Cuddy. Back here, patient? No, Hooker went to my office instead of my home. Carpet? Never. Nothing to talk about. Your girlfriend called the clinic 15 times looking for you today. Huh. A lot to discuss. China patterns. House. She's a stalker. Right. Couldn't be that she finds me interesting, attractive. It has to be that she's insane. She's called you 15 times. Your mother's not that interested in well, you. Well, maybe I'd be better adjusted if she was. I'm notifying security. Is this about the carpet? You think I'll back off if you block all my fun? You better not be having fun. I'm having fun, not having sex. She's dangerous. She's not dangerous. She's pretty. She's pretty. Men are stupid. I'm with you so far. I'm notifying security. Oh, give her a break. She's not dangerous. She's insightful. You can't stop our love! Well, I'm not here to indulge that. I'm here to help you figure out what symptom you saw. Your patient was driving the bus, so all you could see... Why can't you do both? Your patient was driving the bus, so all you could see was him sitting down, most likely facing forward. Earlobes wiggling, or his head bobbing. Not that. It could indicate aortic insufficiency. Marfat syndrome. Or syphilis. Last time we danced, med school, week we met. No. I saw you, end of chronology. Tracked you down to the hoedown. I meant we met before that, in the bookstore. Ah. Uh. My third day of school, I hand my syllabus to the guy behind the counter. He barely looks at me, just skims the sheet and tells me I'm overly ambitious, I have a chip on my shoulder, and I know how to party. <laughs> I'd forgotten you knew how to party. <laughs> I said, you're making that up. And you said your class schedule is overloaded, but none of your classes are before 11, and no one takes Professor Lamb's course unless they have something to prove. Because Professor Siegel covered the same ground and was the easier grader. I tracked you down. Endocrinology, the party. And one thing led to another. And then it didn't. I wasn't gonna call you. No, don't do that. There was no expectations. I was just as I was gonna come see you. Figure out where things would go from there. That was the morning I got the call from the dean and I was expelled from my first med school and it didn't seem any point. Mom. Thank you, sweetie. There you go. Thanks. So say you two got married. Would you convert to Judaism? We haven't gotten that far, Mom. That's actually a really interesting question. I'm an atheist. Honey, half the Jews I know are atheists. It's about community. The house isn't that big on community. And why do you call him House? The man's name is Greg. It makes it seem like you're not serious. I'm just trying to help you think about the future. You're, you're a certain age now. The parade of boyfriends can't be as amusing as it was. You need to settle down. 
like your sister. Settling down isn't all it's cracked up to be. Next week is Sam's birthday. I was going to take her to the Poconos. That's very sad. Perhaps not the best choice of topic for a festive occasion. I just don't want Rachel growing up thinking you're a slut. Okay, I got this. First of all, Mom. Oh my God. Did you sedate my mother? Kicked in just in time. She'll wake up in a couple of hours, be good as new. Think of it as my birthday gift to you. you. Told me to keep my mouth shut. It's the only way I had a chance. Leaving aside the fact that House is a sociopath, I have to admit that I'm I'm honestly relieved. Your mom is quite a quite a handful. What? I feel. F oh, you've got to be kidding me! You jogged me, pain? Sorry. I honestly thought you'd be worse. That was my gift to myself. You want to induce a fever? Well, unless you're willing to don a white t-shirt and hop into the hot tub with him, I need another way to keep him warm or he dies. You could maim him. I could cure him. I'm not letting you do it. Are you going to fire me? No. Wait a second, what the hell was that? You were won over by my soaring rhetoric? I basically just threatened to hold my breath. You never intended to stop me. You just pretended to stop me so you could pretend to fail to stop me so you could stroke my ego. Ah, uh, war doesn't end until Foreman's gone. Foreman's not going anywhere. And I know when my Vicodin isn't Vicodin. Do you know when your birth control pills aren't birth control pills? You work fast. So do you. Is that a shock? Yeah. It was easy. Once I convinced the clerk to take it to Judge Markham, she's a sucker for Eighth Amendment arguments. Stop. I'm getting turned on. House! Roll, roll. It was just a consult. You expect us to shut down an entire floor for this guy? Did you do something to your hair? Stacy? You said you cleared it Come with her. On. You've known me how long? You still can't tell when I'm joshing you? Take him back to prison, now. No, can't. See, ironically, I'm bound by this court order that your ace attorney got. <clears throat> Have to make him all better before shipping him back for the state to kill him. Is it just me, or is that weird? Anyway, we're walking. You don't smell too hot. Your hand is starting to rot. Why are we here? We are talking about cutting off a kid's hand. Yes, we're talking about cutting it off, not subdividing it and putting in condos. It's not a legal issue. Are you being intentionally dense? Huh? I think it's premature. I've heard enough. What? She says one word and you take her side. You should at least wait until she actually gives a medical reason. Otherwise, I might take it personally. Shut up. If I were to somehow find out that you two are in disagreement over the proper medical course of action, it could make it awkward for my client in court, my client being the two of you. So guys, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we pick this conversation up in half an hour? I can't do it myself. Turn around. No clever comments about bending over. Not unless you want me to. Just not used to house the professional. I was just thinking about what your mother looked like. Because your father obviously chose her for breeding purposes. Shut up. Natural selection sucks. We pick our mates based on breast size, cars they drive. They did autopsies. Some married couples found a correlation in pancreas size. We're hardwired to pick for stupid reasons. You have the chance to pick for smart reasons. I think the Germans had a similar theory about 60 years ago. I'm not advocating wiping out entire races. I'm just saying you don't want to mate with the first plastic cup that buys you a drink. I'm pretty sure you got that. Microbes can be sneaky. It's 
really not the greatest time for gloating. There's more than one baby in the sea. The world is full of teenage boys running bareback. No. I'm done. I can't go through that again. You're quitting. Just like you quit IVF. Yeah, just like that. There, you just sit it again. It's too bad. You made a great mother. You son of a bitch. When I was getting a baby, you told me I'd suck as a mother. Now that I've lost it, you tell me I'd be great as a mother. Why do you need to negate everything? Good night.